Welcome to this video where I will show you how to create the support in sheet metal workbench in FreeCAD. So uh, we will start in part design workbench. So let's activate it in the tree and go to the model and let's create the body. You will get the axis. Okay, and let's create the sketch in XY plan here and in to the XY plan let's create the rectangle with uh, this constraint it will set the dimensions for our lines let's choose first and second lines and change the position of these dimensions to be 170 millimeters let's close the sketch and let's go to the sheet metal workbench let's choose the sketch in the tree and let's create a sheet metal wall from a sketch it, this icon okay let's choose this edge on our plate and let's make the band for this band uh, we can invert this wall and up in that direction and let's make the gap so let's set the 30 or 70 millimeters because we have the length 100 minus 70 we will get the 30 lengths of this wall and uh, we can change the dimensions for this gap of course if you, we, you can change the width and you can increase the length if you will if you will set the zero you will close this gap on the plate okay let's increase the length of extrusion this wall set 30 millimeters and let's choose this edge and repeat the previous steps for creation the band let's make the invert true change the direction of this wall and now we have to create the gap uh, we will have to choose the another side of this wall and make the gap from gap 2 and let's find the true dimension it will be 40 millimeters gap and it means that the length of the wall will be 30 millimeters and also the height of this wall will be 30 millimeters let's close this gap set 0 to relief and now we have finished to create these two walls let's choose the, these two edges using the control button on keyboard and create the extrusion again we will create the Band. it will create for all edges which we will choose and let's set the length 30 millimeters for this wall okay and after that let's go to the part design workbench again and uh, for these edges we will create the chamfer okay let's choose one edge of this wall and create the chamfer and click the add and add the another edges to this tree okay this edge and last one this i have choose the face let's delete it from here and click again the edge to the edge okay and now let's set the size of this chamfer to be eight millimeters okay but how can you see we doesn't choose this edge let's repeat the add command and add this edge to our tree okay now we have these chamfers on our walls and the last step will be creation the holes on plates okay let's 
create two toggles and uh, let's in the sketcher let's set the dimensions for these toggles you can choose both toggles and set the radius and you can see do you want to sh share the same radius for selected toggles and set the radius it will equal condition for both toggles and let's set the position for centers of for these holes on the plate okay let's set the horizontal position let's set 50 maybe some smaller 10 and let's make I think 14 millimeters and repeat it for this second circle okay and the last one will be creation the vertical dimensions let's choose these two points with control bottom on keyboard choose this vertical dimension will be maybe it will be 85 and it means that for these two points vertical dimension will be 15 millimeters yes okay now we have the fully connected green sketch and let's make the sum correction for radius set 5 millimeters radius some smaller and close the sketch okay and for the sketch let's make the pocket operation in part design workbench let's set 100 it will be enough for two of these walls it will be four pulses and click OK and now we have finished to create this model of the support okay and the last step you can to create unfold body from this sheet metal part okay let's choose this surface in sheet metal workbench click here and set the default settings and if you will hide this bucket this body um, I think it's no it doesn't work just deactivate this and the hot K will be space bottom on keyboard to hide of this model okay let's hide also the sketcher and you can see this unfold 3d model and unfold sketch if you will go to the sketch you can get the all dimensions for your unfold model let's delete it and, act and show this initial body so thank you for watching subscribe to the channel goodbye